Let's face it, recent winters haven't been a really big deal around here. Last year, 2016-2017, we had the Martin Luther King Day ice storm that really wasn't. There were a couple of snows that were three or four inches, and there was some winter driving, but as a whole, not bad at all. The year before that, 2015-2016, well, we had the Groundhog Day storm then. It was a pretty big snowstorm, but it melted off fairly quickly, and the winter as a whole wasn't that bad. In fact, the last time we had a really bad winter, it was 2009-2010. The triple whammy snows of December into early January, 44 inches of snow for the year, 90 days with an inch or more of snow on the ground. This upcoming winter, I think, will be somewhere in between all of those. The penguin and the snowflakes, that's a good look for the upcoming winter, but how bad is it really going to be? It's been chilly the last few weeks, that's for sure. Very dry the last 30 days, and I think that's a pattern that could last maybe even into the upcoming entire winter season here. Part of that, we've got a La Nina developing, cooler than average water in the central Pacific, which tends to give us a northwest flow across the middle part of the country here, trough in the east, that brings down cold air from Canada. These are the odds of La Nina forming. The tallest bar graph there, La Nina, according to the uh, Climate Prediction Center. These, again, most likely to be impacting our upcoming winter season with uh, these effects. This is the statistical outlook for how strong the La Nina will be. And everything says it's going to be a weak La Nina. That's important because this is a compilation of all the weak La Ninas over the last 60, 70 years. They tend to be very cold across the upper Midwest, even down into Nebraska and Iowa. Dry in the southeast, southwest, wet in the Pacific Northwest, but here, not terribly wet, not super dry. We tend to get a lot of fast moving storms we call Alberta Clippers. This is NOAA's 90 day outlook for precipitation. This is their outlook as far as temperature. It tends to be pretty warm according to them, but I think I'll go against their grain and say it will be a colder winter than that and certainly around here because of this likely weak La Nina. I say get used to the cold and a lot of these fast moving storms we call Alberta Clippers causing windy conditions for many days of the winter as well. So with La Nina in mind, the trend that we've seen as far as dry and kind of cooler weather right now, I think a colder winter is coming. Not a lot of moisture around in these fast moving systems. While we'll have a windy winter, I don't think we'll have a huge amount of snowfall. Probably, again, a bit below average. What's the bottom line? Well, I do expect, again, a colder winter, maybe colder than average, two degrees below average for winter and 22 to 26 inches of snow, which would put it slightly below the long term averages, but a lot more than we've seen in some recent winters. All right.